Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. By an order of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Royal Court mourns His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, who passed away this morning at Mayo Clinic Hospital in the United States of America. The burial ceremony will take place after the repatriation of the body and the funeral will be limited to a specific number of relatives. His Majesty the King ordered the announcement of an official mourning for a week during which flags will be flown at half-mast. Government ministries and departments will be closed for three days starting tomorrow. May Allah rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. From Allah we come and to Allah we return. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The Saudi king offered sincere condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the late His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in eternal peace. His Majesty the King expressed deepest thanks and appreciation to the Saudi king for his fraternal and sincere sentiments. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Saudi King expressed heartfelt condolences and sympathy to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty the King also received a similar cable from the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King also received similar cables of condolences from UAE's Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and also from the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Emir of Kuwait expressed heartfelt condolences and sympathy to His Majesty the King on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty the King also received two similar cables from the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and from Kuwait's Prime Minister Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Hamad Al Sabah. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed of Amman on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Sultan of Amman expressed heartfelt condolences to His Majesty the King, the Royal Family and to the people of Bahrain. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, who extended sincere condolences on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Al-Sisi prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the late His Royal Highness the Premier with mercy and rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the President for his noble feelings. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the President of Egypt Abdel Fattah al Sisi on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Egyptian President offered condolences and sympathy to His Majesty the King, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Jordanian monarch King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein, who extended sincere condolences on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. King Abdullah prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless the late His Royal Highness the Premier with mercy and rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Jordanian monarch for his noble feelings. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn al Hussein, on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. 
His Majesty the King of Jordan expressed heartfelt condolences and sympathy on behalf of the people and government of Jordan, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a telephone call from His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, who extended sincere condolences on the demise of His Royal Highness of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Mohammed prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the late Premier in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the President of Palestine Mahmoud Abbas on the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The President of Palestine expressed heartfelt condolences and sympathy, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in eternal peace. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a phone call from the Iraqi Prime Minister Mustafa Al Kadhimi, who extended deepest condolences and consolation to His Majesty the King over the demise of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the late His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in eternal peace. His Majesty the King expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the Iraqi Prime Minister for his noble feelings. The Kingdom of Bahrain has lost today a great leader who laid the cornerstone of Bahrain's development in all fields and always made the people of Bahrain his priority. More on this report. Our Kingdom has lost today the Prince of the People, who was the leader of national hard work and continuous success all for the people. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa passed away. May his soul rest in peace. He was loyal to his responsibilities in serving his country, king, and people to achieve the aspirations of the Bahraini citizens and residents, and to push forward developments in all fields. A man who founded Bahrain's National Government Action, that raised Bahrain to the highest positions and paved the way for others to follow, towards further progress and advancement with noble morals and a firm call for peace and harmony. The late Prime Minister devoted his life to serving the people of Bahrain with love, humility, justice and equality. He loved the people and gained yet a greater love back. The development, urbanization and achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain are proof of his dedication and devotion to his nation. He has always been the greatest supporter to the people under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who paved the way for continuous development. The late Premier was always keen to meet with the people through his open meetings and field visits across the kingdom to get closer to the people, listen to their needs and aspirations and to build numerous projects of development and prosperity that only brought joy to the people. However, today we mourn the loss of our Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, whose loss shocked us to our core and we salute his honorable role and contributions, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in peace. نوقف بنفسنا على على الوضع سواء كان بيوت قديمة أو حاجات الناس إن شاء الله السكنية والعلاجية التعليمية كلها في أماكن للمستوصفات الصحية مدارس إن شاء الله بيوت كل هالأمور هذه إن شاء الله ما خلينا بعين الاعتبار وسوف ننجزها إن شاء الله بأسرع وقت ممكن بالنسبة لنا إحنا في البحرين تعرفون إن دائما إحنا نعمل ما نتكلم نعمل ونعمل إن شاء الله أن عملنا ينتج إن شاء الله لصالح الجميع. The Kingdom of Bahrain has witnessed great development ever since the late Prime Minister took office and dedicated his life to the advancement of Bahrain in all fields. More on this report. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa is among the inspiring personalities in the history of Bahrain and has masterminded many pioneering development achievements that have placed the kingdom in leading positions regionally and globally.
The late Prince Khalifa bin Salman has focused his efforts on human resources development out of his belief that the citizens are the country's real asset. In this regard, as a result of his hard work, perseverance and resolve, Bahrain was able to achieve the Millennium Development Goals ahead of deadline, outperforming many developed countries. His Royal Highness strived hard to diversify the national economy through developing many sectors, particularly the financial and banking one, entitling Bahrain to become a regional financial hub. The financial and banking sector has become the second non-oil sector regarding its contribution to the GDP by 1.67%, and the kingdom is home to 385 financial and banking institutions with assets reaching 207 billion US dollars. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman's efforts and achievements have been recognized by the international community, and he has a rich record of international awards, the most recent of which was that of the World Health Organization, which named him as a world leader in the health field on May 20, 2019, the first of its kind honoring to be granted to a leader. The Kingdom of Bahrain has lost a very dear prince, who has dedicated his life to innumerable landmark achievements for the sake of the nation and its people. The late Prime Minister was an international prominent figure who received wide recognition and appreciation for his distinguished role in strengthening relations and cooperation with different brotherly and friendly countries. More in this report. The late Prime Minister, may his soul rest in peace, had an outstanding international presence and distinguished global status. He always received appreciation for his many initiatives and roles that left a mark in international diplomacy and in many United Nations events in relation to humanitarian issues to promote peace and stability in addition to achieving high economic growth for all countries to provide the best living standards to its people. Bahraini diplomacy since its start 50 years ago witnessed a strong kickoff, which is of comprehensive and clear vision to the world. Throughout these years, the late Prime Minister led many steps that reinforced the international presence of the Kingdom of Bahrain through adopting a balanced foreign policy based on mutual respect and good intentions to enhance cooperation that serves joint interests. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman firmly believed in the importance of reinforcing relations with all brotherly and friendly countries, in addition to international organizations to serve national interests as well as the best interests of the people of the world. He diversified relations with Gulf countries as well as Arab countries through the Arab League. He also reinforced relations with Islamic countries by promoting Bahrain's role in the organization of Islamic cooperation through supporting Islamic countries and supporting Islamic issues in all fields. The Kingdom of Bahrain is grateful to the wise vision and efforts of the late Prime Minister for hoisting the flag of Bahrain and gaining international respect and appreciation. <laughs> يوضح بجلاء الجهود المتميزة التي بذلناها معكم في تحقيق جزء كبير من الأهداف الإنمائية للألفية ويمثل حافزاً إضافياً لمواصلة 
المسيرة وتحقيق المزيد من النجاحات انطلاقا من رؤيتنا التنموية المرتكزة على تحسين مستوى حياة الفرد وخصوصا في مجالات التعليم والصحة والإسكان The late Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, was a man of culture, development and prosperity. He launched several awards based on his firm belief in the importance of development for the community and he gave the Kingdom of Bahrain its global identity based on his prominent role, which was praised both regionally and internationally. More on this report. The Khalifa bin Salman Press Award his Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa had a great appreciation for the role of the national press. He was keen on supporting it and was among the first to help create an adequate environment for journalism to flourish in the kingdom. The 7th of May has been designated every year to celebrate the Bahraini Press Day to support and motivate the press to continue its national role and reflect the achievements of the kingdom in the field of media and press freedom. The Khalifa bin Salman Award for the Bahraini Doctor this award, which is held on the first Wednesday of November of each year, is designated to honor distinguished Bahraini doctors in the field of medical and treatment research. The award reflects the support and patronage of His Royal Highness the late Premier to the medical cadres in the kingdom. He had always appreciated and encouraged doctors, scientists and researchers in the medical field, and this award is but a part of His Royal Highness's approach in honoring the distinguished and create a rich environment for development based on his firm belief that encouragement and motivation help push the people of Bahrain forward. Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Excellence in Industry This award was launched in 1997 and was the embodiment of the first scientific evaluation process of industrial enterprises activities of all kinds and types. The award reflects His Royal Highness's keenness on supporting industrial development and creating a firm foundation to bolster the growth of a dynamic and productive industrial sector. The award constitutes a strong incentive for industrial companies to develop their work and the quality of their production and fuel the spirit of competition between different companies in industrial performance, which contributes to opening new markets for national products around the world. The Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Award for Excellence in Educational Performance The massive support the education sector received from His Royal Highness the late Premier was evident in many aspects, including the launch of His Royal Highness's Award for Educational Excellence. This important educational award was aimed at motivating schools towards enhancing their academic competence, the quality of the educational output, innovation and creativity in teaching methods, and in improving the level of educational services provided to students.
إن نجاحات مملكة البحرين على صعيد التنمية وغدرة الشعب البحريني في بناء نموذج تنموي كان للمرأة البحرينية التاريخ الطويل من المشاركة الفاعلة في العمل العام وخدمة الوطن وأن مملكة البحرين أفسحت المجال واسعا أمام المرأة أن لأن تسهم وتبدع في بناء الوطن وتقدمه فاستحقت منا من تنال التقدير والاحترام. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa has always been promoting peace, harmony and understanding and his initiative to declare April 5th as an international day of conscience observed worldwide yesterday and laid the foundation for a new era of the history of humanity. More on this report. The President of the General Assembly welcomes the declaration of 5th April as the International Day of Conscience by Member States, which took place last Thursday. By adopting Resolution A-73-L102, titled Promoting a Culture of Peace with Love and Conscience, Member States have drawn attention to the interlinkages between the three pillars of the UN, of peace and security, development, and human rights and their interlinked and mutually reinforcing nature. The day of 5th April, from now on, provides an opportunity for the international community to promote peace, tolerance, inclusion, understanding, and solidarity in order to build a sustainable world of peace, solidarity, and harmony. The PJ welcomes this initiative of the Prime Minister of Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, supported by member states, in fostering the spirit of conscience by the international community in order to uphold peace, human rights, and dignity and sustainable development. Mrs. Spinoza believes that the declaration is also timely as the UN will commemorate the 20th anniversary of the adoption of the Declaration and Program of Action on a Culture of Peace during the high-level forum on 13th September this year. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's noble standing and worldwide appreciation for his initiatives and efforts aimed in the promotion of world peace, international solidarity, cooperation, and sustainable development. The Milestone Initiative aims to motivate the world to exert further efforts to safeguard global peace and establish a new world order based on love, understanding, and harmony. Through His Royal Highness the Premier's initiative, Bahrain has set an example in mobilizing the international community's efforts towards achieving the best for humanity as well as protecting it from conflicts and wars. In his message to the world on the eve of the International Day of Conscience this year, His Royal Highness stressed the importance of the value of conscience as a human pivot that alerts the world to the necessity of shouldering its collective responsibilities towards everything that could bring human beings closer and fulfill the aspirations of the peoples for growth and stability. His Royal Highness the Premier's initiative has been described as a message to enhance global security and stability so that people may continue their development march within peace and love. أظهرت الولاء والإخلاص والوحدة الوطنية متمثلة فيكم وفيما تنوون لحاضر البلد ومستقبلها